Hi, I'm Paul. I'm running a workshop at David Lloyd's in New Haven today on how you can use neuroscience-based tools and strategies to activate a more high-performance state rather than a more low-performance stress and anxious state. So we'll be talking about things like mindsets, about how you can use your breath to change the quality of your heart rate, which then changes the quality of how your brain functions. I've always had an interest in neuroscience, but the more that I've studied working with people and studied the brain and your nervous system, the more I've started to get more and more excited about the fact that we already have the tools we already have, we're inbuilt with an innate ability to change ourselves. And what I'd like to share today is a manual for what's going on in your brains and bodies when you're trying to make change. We're going to jump straight into one of the tools. We're going to be using breath work today because it has such a powerful influence on your brain. And then once you've calmed your system down, right state, you're going to ask yourself those questions, those questions of possibilities, those questions about your future. Who do I want to become? What future do I want to create? What does my ideal future look and feel like? And you're gonna sit with that visualization. You're gonna sit with those feelings that that brings up. And then you're gonna review those positive and negative habits. What habit can I do today that's gonna take me towards that future that I want? And so when you start changing your habits, when you start doing something differently, you're gonna start changing your mood. You're gonna start changing your internal chemistry just a little bit. Your body's gonna to wanna to get you back to where it was before. And so this is when we start experiencing that resistance. Why not just start tomorrow instead? Or you'll, you'll never be able to change, or you're not worth it. So we're gonna put it all together. I like this quote from Nelson Mandela because it's not about things feeling good and feeling fantastic all the time. It's really normal to come up against the fear. And when you come up against the fear and that protection, Again, that's a really positive sign that you can celebrate that you know things are going in the right direction, in that new direction that you've chosen. So it's not about eliminating fear, but it's overcoming it and embracing it and knowing that it's a positive sign that you are on the right path. So here's the system you can use daily. When you start looking at the neuroscience and you start looking at our biology, we're set up for great things. We're set up to achieve, you know, to be brilliant. It's all there, we've got all the kit. It's just about using it. So sharing and learning about and teaching some of these practices that you can do yourself for self-empowerment. There's a better way of changing ourselves for the better. And if we change ourselves for the better, then everyone benefits. Everyone around us benefits too. I have a very stressful job and I do sometimes struggle with anxiety, with workload and stuff. So I think to take away what we've done today about breathing techniques, about how the brain works, about you know all we'll actually learn today, I think will be very useful as well as building habits. So I really enjoyed that. It was really, really good. Thank you so much for today.